what's it do for everyone to have uh, Nico and, and the really close to a full squad up there today? The morale uh, goes up, you know, from, from the get-go. You see it in the locker room, um, you know, a lot of smiles, uh, saying hello to Nico, who, you know, probably is frustrated as more than anybody. Um, but Nico comes here and, and works extremely hard, and that's what veterans do. That's what good guys in the locker room do, and much like uh, two years ago when he came to the team, he can he can share that same impact this year. You know, on the outside looking in, I think there's been a lot of questions about Nico's uh, interest and, and commitment here. Inside the team, what's the perception of, of Nico's attitude? I, I can't speak uh, any more highly of Nico. Nico has been committed to this team from, from the first minute he got here. Um, to, from, from the lows and the highs, from his injuries to not making the World Cup, uh, his influence on the team is, is vital. Um, he's a leader, day in and day out, um, does everything right, is a true professional and has been such a great addition to the Sounders. And, you know, I, I hope Nico stays here for a really long time. Uh, I expect him to because he, he's done so well here and, um, you know, I, I can't say any, anything but, but positive things about, about that guy. How is his leadership different from your leadership? Well, Nico doesn't speak the language, right? He, he doesn't speak English um, as well as I do. Um, so he leads a lot by example. He's a guy that comes out here and, and is, I don't know, 28 years old. Uh, just got back from Uruguay, you know, playing on a broken toe, is going to be the fittest guy on the team still, is going to um, make every tackle he can, and then he'll go into the game and, and be the best player. He leads by example, and, uh, you know, he, he came into the locker room with a, a big smile on his face, and, you know, the, the rest is history. He's going he's gonna to be a big part in, in tomorrow's game, and, and uh, you know, I look forward to it. Fair enough to say, given everything you said, he's one of those players that makes everybody around him better. Yeah, he's a huge compliment to the team, but he's also a superstar. Uh, he has a good mix of, of being, uh, you know, a guy that, that can, uh, you know, play in, in the shadows of, of really big players, and, and he can also be the guy that, that makes the game. Uh, when Clint went out, um, he was that guy, that superstar. Uh, you know, when Clint's on the field, maybe he's that, that guy that does a second assist or, or, uh, or, or provides that ball to, to Clint. Um, create, he creates that bit of spark. Um, but he's a huge compliment and, and a super superstar in the in the, in the same uh, same body. Was there a special reception for Nico, or was he just kind of like let's just get, get him to work and forget about what happened? Yeah, we I mean we don't want to make a big deal out of it. Uh, we understand it's frustrating. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't think anybody mentioned it to him. Um, you know, I, I know he's frustrated. Uh, I know his his teammate teammates are, and um, you know his family. It, it's tough, but. At the same time, he's he's focused here. He's ready to play and, and ready to get distracted from from all the things, all the nonsense going on in in in, uh, in the soccer world. Are you guys looking at this portion of the schedule as kind of a make or break stretch here, where you have a few home games and you can start to rack up some points and make some ground? Yeah, there's a huge sense of urgency. Uh, you know, obviously, getting guys like Victor back. Uh, you know, Will Bruin back, uh, Nicolo Darrow. All these guys are going to contribute really uh, just a ton, and you know having a, a good home stretch is, is definitely definitely helpful. We need to get back into winning all our home games, uh, making this this place a fortress, and uh, doing what what we do best, and that's keeping clean sheets and, and playing creative soccer. Uh, I don't think we've we, we we've stepped away from from what we what we do well. And, uh, you know, that, that may be because of the injuries, but, but also, you know, playing with a little bit of confidence, uh, confidence, a bit of urgency. How challenging was it to follow along to the match in Sacramento and then see the guys put, put in a good effort but then come up short? Yeah, obviously frustrating. Um, you know, tough to watch. I feel bad for those guys. Um, you know, I, I really wish uh, I was able to contribute. It, it's tough watching a game from the sideline, uh, watching your team from the sideline and feeling like, uh, helpless and not, not being able to, to uh, help the team in any way. Um, but those guys put in a shift. There are, there are a lot of guys who hadn't played 90 minutes in a long time. Um, and, and to play 120 minutes, you know, Ray Sari, who, who was going down, uh, Chenkum, 
you know, those guys are, 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 are guys that, that want to be on the first team and, and are, are on the fringe. Um, so you, you saw that heart, but obviously we, we still need to be better in, in quality. And, and uh, you know, I, I still think that we have a bright future uh, with this club. We have a lot of young guys that are, that are capable of doing big things. Nagel goes out and check ups to have some, some issues throughout the game. What's your perspective on the injuries and, and everything that goes on with that? Honestly, they've been a lot of freak injuries. Um, you know, it's 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 tough. You know, muscular injuries, uh, non-contact injuries uh, are, are sometimes the the worst. Uh, you know, getting into a tackle hasn't necessarily been uh, you know our <laughs> our kryptonite. Uh, but you know, let's say Hundwala, for example, uh, it was a non-contact injury. Uh, you know, maybe the turf uh, hurt him. Um, you know, Ozzy, uh, guys like that. Um, you know, they've been out for for a while now, and uh, it's time to get back. But but now we have Victor, uh, we have Ozzy back, we have Nico back. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a hard team to beat.